Why doesn't everyone stand up for a second? <laughs> Okay, feet apart, feel the earth for a second, just before you do anything else, just let the entire bone structure, skeleton, tissue, head, let it all just sink down completely into the earth and just really focus on that sensation. Just allow that allow the body to resume its natural place, which is basically a tentacle coming off the planet Earth. Eyes can be open or closed, whatever they want to do, just keep the senses open. Keep the knees bent, keep your legs really comfortable and just Keep just dropping the weight down and letting the breath just naturally expand. Believe it or not, this is one of the sweetest positions for teenage meditation. <laughs> right here. <laughs> just getting people in a nice martial arts, you call it kind of a, a narrow horse stance can do lots of one and two minute stuff just from this position. The advantages are numerous, but the key one is you get a sense of what I call verticality. Just the sense that the body is lining up on a plumb line with the planet Earth. And it, as I think a lot of you feel, it immediately does something to the nervous system. There's just the sense that, as Rick was talking about at lunch, just that panorama begins to come naturally occur in, in attention. So just a couple quick ones and then we'll sit back down. Whether it's Qigong or yoga, Feldenkrais, there's a whole bunch of movement systems we could debate which is best and which we use to kingdom come. But with kids it really doesn't matter what you call it. <laughs> there's five or six things that we all kind of have and all true about that you can use and they're really just what I would label as like whole body movements uh, that coordinate breathing. So one I just want to show is, I, I just call it, it's in, it's in Taiji, Bagua, a lot of the Chinese internal martial arts, but it's just a closing and opening exercise. And it takes advantage of one of the first kind of movements that happen in the womb, which is this kind of shrinking and expanding. So. You see a lot of movements like this in Tai Chi, like these big circular, whether it's arm circles or going like this. There's this sense of just recovering um, the whole body movement little kids have and animals have. <laughs> so it's particularly good for little kids. You can even make it into little games, but even like gang banging style teenagers, just some arm circles, man. You don't gotta get them doing fancy yoga, but just bring it up and keep the shoulders down and focus on really letting the whole body kind of move and expand with the movement and come down 70% effort rule. This is not really like a power stretch. You're letting the tendons just naturally lengthen on their own. And you can use the inhale on the way up and the exhale on the way down and just let it take over your body. Really try to just lose self-consciousness. It's not about per getting a perfect yoga pose. You're trying to just wake up the kinesthetic feeling in your body and in your lungs and in your breathing. And it should feel good. I know Americans hate to hear that. <laughs> but it should just feel good. It should feel like things are just coming more alive. And rather than doing a million different exercises, I recommend you pick a few like these, but just do high reps, you know, like really let your body settle into it, into the feeling, and let the breath expand over time. Simple is better. As you bring mindfulness to the sensations you experience during simple movements like this, 
you often get a whole lot of kinesthetic feeling that you weren't aware of before. Some people will describe it as almost, they'll visualize themselves moving through, it's almost like the air is made of syrup. Just the sense that their kind of reality is a little bit in slow motion and there's just this sense of moving through something thick or oily or just like the air got thicker. And just do a couple more. And to close, just bring the hands in to the center of your body. You can put left palm over right, just put them below the navel. And just use that as a little bit of focus point to really just feel the sensation of being inside a human body and what that's like. You don't have to manage those sensations or choose the good ones over the bad ones. Just be completely available to just the whole palette of sensation as it is right now. Good.